So I'm Roger Whitby, CEO of Nth Degree. We, pr we produce printed LEDs in various formats. And uh, you're doing printed energy? Any yes. shape, anywhere? Yes, so they're printed batteries. So we do both printed batteries and printed LEDs. And we have them in a number of different formats. We have them as a strip light. We have them integrated into products. This is a medical device. So the controller delivers power to the printed lights and treats various uh, conditions such as acne, psoriasis, so muscles, etc. what does it do with the lights uh, medically? Uh, medically, the light uh, treats, it kills bacteria. It adds uh, energy to muscles and um, uh, increases the rate of healing of wounds, etc. And it's flexible. And it's flexible. It's very flexible. So it conforms to the skin. And just lights up your skin? And yes. then you also have your flexible battery going on there? Uh, this is a coin cell battery. We use the flexible battery uh, in a different way. So we have that in race timing devices, for instance. Uh, yeah. So imagine, imagine a marathon runner having the number on their, uh, on their jersey as they run. They have an RFID tag uh, built into that number. Nice. And the battery runs that active RFID tag. So then throughout the whole run, you can see on the map how far they are and everything. That's and right. there will it's, be like uh, detectors on the way. It's a way of tracking the runners and timing them for the race. And uh, obviously a very flexible product. So normal batteries can't do this. So this is a battery right here? It's a battery, exactly. So nth degree battery. Uh, this is, we have two companies here today. We're representing Printed Energy with the batteries and Nth Degree with the lights. So what's the, it's not lithium ion, right? Or is it? No, it's a very uh, safe, non-toxic uh, components. It's uh, manganese and zinc based. Manganese and zinc, what, is, what are these manganese? Uh, they're the uh, anode and cathode materials. Uh, what's the capacity, the performance? The, the, these are low energy uh, uh, batteries. They're for uh, IoT type devices, sensors, things that need a very small amount of energy. Do, so, do you quantify in milliamps? In milliamps, yes. So how, how much would be in something like this? Uh, it's a, a factor of the area. So, um, you know, 10 milliamp hours, for instance, for a small battery. So totally flexible 100. and great to use for as enough power to run the, the whole marathon. Correct. Which is like four, five, six hours. Oh yes, yeah, it, it will operate for much longer than that. But it's for low power devices. And you would have a timer on um, yes, the so there, goes there, on in a timer kind of fashion? There's, or is there's a reader that communicates with the RFID tag. All right, yeah. and uh, do you have some other demonstrations of the batteries? Because you have all these different kind of shapes. Yes, any any shape. Uh, it can. The, the major advantage of these batteries is that it doesn't take up space and weight in the product, uh, so it can conform to the requirement of the device that it's powering. And what are you showing here? Uh, so Nth Degree has um, partnered with a number of companies to develop some uh, really in innovative devices. So Colgate, for instance, have launched a tooth whitening product that incorporates our printed LED lights. So this is a way of getting the light right inside the mouth, right onto the surface of the teeth. So what's happening inside here? Uh, this is your tech to do all this light? Correct. And, um, that, and that, that tech is... Uh, uh, within, within the mouth it activates a paste with, which whitens the teeth. So, so it's a particular kind of, wavelength. Um, you put some kind of a whitening paste in there? Mm -hmm. Apply that inside the device, put it inside your mouth uh, and that will give you the... It totally works? It, it totally works, absolutely. Uh, I don't think Colgate would be launching a product that didn't work. So it's mass production, it's all over the place? This is mass, mass production and the, the skin patch uh, from Careware is also available in the market. So different shapes for different applications. And this is uh, really 
targeting the uh, opioid epidemic. So uh, by treating pain early, uh, it avoids using drugs to relieve the pain. So 45% uh, of professional sports teams in America are now using this for both pre-match treatment and post-match treatment. The controller comes off, uh, this is technology that can uh, be used on the run rather than going to a clinic and having this applied with a you know, traditional large machine plugged into the wall. How does it help with pain? Uh, it it's, it's, it's a complicated set of um, uh, chemical reactions within the body. Uh, it's a whole area called photobiomodulation uh, and uh, it, it helps, primarily it helps with the flow of blood and the, the increased rate of healing. It totally works. It totally works. There's a whole field of medicine based around this. Arthritis is good for that? It's good for arthritis. So different wavelengths do different things. The blue wavelength will kill bacteria, so it's good for acne and psoriasis. The red wavelengths work for uh, on muscles and strains and increasing the blood flow. <laughs> Green wavelengths work for cosmetics, so helping with uh, wrinkles, etc. So there's a whole range of products. This is science. This is science. It's not uh, uh, pseudo science. Or it's not pseudo science. It's like actually, uh, like if you went to a hospital, it would be one of the things they would recommend. Uh, laser, laser treatment, low level uh, laser treatment is a very well established technology, and that's essentially what this is. It's just freedom from your wall plug. You're able to use this on the go. Nice. How long is the battery? Is it used in a water power? Uh, this is a rechargeable battery. Uh, the dosage is uh, half an hour, and so the, the battery and controller regulates that dosage. The patches themselves are reusable. Uh, there are about 20 uses per so, time. 20 use, and what's the price? Uh, you buy a kit, uh, so it depends, you know, how you want to configure that kit. But the starting price is a couple of hundred dollars, and then the, you buy the patches uh, as you use them. And they're about forty dollars. For twenty or something. All right, so just two dollars. Just two dollars a use. Two dollars a use, or two dollars for twenty uses. Uh, two dollars per application. Forty dollars per patch so per patch, yeah. yeah all right so where are you based where do you uh, we're, we're based in Tempe Arizona yes. both nth degree and printed energy yes. are based in Tempe well this year all right and uh, the printed energy the, the flexible batteries is going to be huge it is yes I mean as the internet of things expands a lot of these devices function much better if they're active if they have a little bit of power to help them so uh, active RFID tags, temperature sensors, um, all, all sorts of applications.